So as you can see in the last devlog I set up the basics of the player from the movement to the shooting but it still needs some work and fix and that's what is going to be the main focus in this devlog. So guys before this video begins if you want to join our discord server there will be a link in the description to join the community and without that being said let's get started. So the first thing I did was to adjust a little bit the hand position, I needed to move it a little to the back. Then I started working on the spine of the player, I wanted to give the ability to the player to follow the mouse rotation by moving the spine bone. So everything should be working. So we need to fix that, as you can see it's working as it should be on the scene but not on the game because the camera is rotating locally and don't follow the player head transform position. And after some changes this is what I got. Yay! So, as you can see this camera is following the target that the player is looking at with a smooth transition and yeah, that was all I did in the first day and it's time to go to sleep. So in the second day I focused more on the small tweaks and I started working a little bit on the running and the idle animation that I already done in the last devlog which ended up looking better. Now as you can see the hand is no longer collapsed with the rifle as it used it to. And since I'm reworking some stuff in the game that I already exist, I wanted to rework the flash muzzle of the rifle so I gave it a try and made a script for it, then I added a small shake animation to the gun to be flexible and realistic as much as possible and I changed the look of the crosshair and this is what I got so far. Well of course the gun bullets shouldn't be unlimited and need to be set. And that was what I did in the next day. I replaced the plus sign next to the health by a shield and made an ammo counter to the right. Then I made a script to control that. And now as every shot taken, reduce the ammo amount by one. And it's working perfectly and you start with 24 bullets. So the next thing I did is to set up the reload animation, so I added the trigger element, then I made a script to play it and reset the ammo after reloading, and then I added a sound effect to it. And this is what it was looking so far. And for the final day before uploading I wanted to add a realistic looking sky to the game and this is what it got me after implementing. I don't know if you noticed but the game became a little bit brighter. The game needs faster ways of killing so I wanted a melee weapon to add it to my game to kill close enemies and basically the next thing I did is to get a free knife that I found in the asset store then I started making the stop animation. So I set up the correct knife position and finally I've made the script responsible for controlling all the changes that takes place when using the knife and the playing of the animation. And as you can see I added a sound effect to it and this is what it was looking so far. It might have some changes in the future but this is what it is looking right now.